So you probably recently retired or you quit your job or you just want to diversify and you've made up your mind you want to do farming. And so you have three options. Chicken, goats and sheep like we do here. Which of the three should you actually pursue? Well, in today's videos, I'm going to be breaking it down from my own experience. You might be wondering why I've chosen these three and probably not things like pigs or beekeeping. Well, it's because from my experience, that's what I've properly experienced on a proper commercial level. Currently, I'm raising thousands of chickens on the farm. Actually, over 20,000 chickens on the farm. Also, we have about 150 cattle on the farm. And then we have over 650 goats and sheep on the farm. And all of these are certainly not for fun. I'm not just doing it for enjoyment. It's typically on a commercial level. You're not trying to make money out of it, but you could be doing it for other reasons. So in today's video, we're going to be going over these three alternatives, weighing their sides based on my experience and thinking about which could be the best fit for you personally. So I assure you by the end of this video, you will certainly be sure of which one you should actually raise. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Daniel a medical doctor who ran away from his profession to focus on my passions in farming. And here on Farm Up, I talk about farming in all the different aspects, both crops and animals. Honestly, I mainly focus on animals and most of the times it's chickens because, well, it's my first love. But in addition to just chickens, we have cattle, we have goats, we have sheep, we have bees. That means we get some honey on the farm. And so if this is your very first time on the channel, come on, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, that way you never miss out on any of our uploads on Farm Up. So you might be thinking, considering we have bees on the farm, why aren't I talking about bees? Well, it's because, number one, we haven't really started making any money from the bees. We have the beehives in the forest and they are reproducing, but we haven't really started making money from them. So it wouldn't be on a fair level, honestly. And secondly, bees are generally in a different category because there's really almost no effort once you've put the beehives in there. It's just waiting for the time for you to harvest the honey. You harvest the honey and again, you leave no effort at all. So really, they're in a different category. The other thing that you need to know is that I'm sharing this directly from my experience. So it's not like expert theoretical experience using figures written down from some research somewhere. No, this is on ground experience for me. I'm experiencing the goats and sheep on the farm. I'm experiencing the cattle. I'm experiencing lots and lots of chicken. And I can see how the cash is coming in and going out. So I know exactly what I'm talking about, but it's typically out of my experience on the farm. So you're going to be getting first hand experience of what you could actually be experiencing if you choose. So we'll start out with the ease of starting. Now chickens are certainly the easiest to start with because they're generally the smaller animal. So you don't need a lot. As you can see here, we have some chickens there in the background. I hope you guys can see them. They're just under a tree. The structure we are using is a really, really simple structure for the birds. So you don't need lots of knowledge to probably start keeping 10 birds in your compound or three chickens in your compound. You just need the chickens somewhere for them to sleep and then food for them and the food can really be nothing they just free range like you see the birds over here with goats it's just a little bit harder compared to chickens to start up because you need a bit more space because you're going to need grass you're going to need a place where to feed the goats from you you're going to need a place for them to sleep which is not going to be just a small store or something really really tiny you're going to need a bit more space compared if it's goats for the cattle it's certainly way harder <laughs> to start up because you have to think of bigger things. Number one, the animals are big. So they can be a bit scary for someone who is just starting out. Number two, you're going to have to think about the space where you're going to be keeping the animals, you know, the cattle. Because cattle eat quite a lot. So if you don't have the space, you're in trouble. Even if you're going to be zero grazing, you know, you're going to be keeping them inside a small particular room. You still need space for that room. A space where you can keep just cows you could probably keep 30 40 50 chickens so you're certainly going to need a lot of space also you're going to need more preparation but if you're thinking about doing chickens on a commercial level and not a small free range level like we are doing here then that's certainly harder than any of the others it's harder than the cattle it's harder than goats and sheep it's harder than anything else because it involves lots and lots of knowledge. It needs lots of pre-planning. You need to read up a lot. You need to consider everything that you're going to need. You're going to consider the biosecurity. You're going to consider things like market 
which are a bit more critical compared to like cattle and goats and sheep because for goats and sheep and cattle you can keep them until you get the market but if you're doing like let's say broilers if they reach market value and you're still keeping them you're going to lose a lot of money because you're going to need to keep feeding them so chickens on a more intensive scale you know you're doing 2,000 you're going 10,000 20,000 birds it's way more intensive and it's way harder to start up now when it comes to the cost of starting it really depends on at what level do you want to do the chicken farming because you're thinking do I want to do it on a really really small scale level or do I want a commercial level commercial really needs a bigger number of birds maybe 200 500 birds whichever number of birds now if it's typically cost of starting and you think about commercial chickens then the cheapest to start out is goats and sheep comparatively because number one their construction houses are really really easy like they're cheap now this is a complicated house you don't need this for the goats and sheep all you need is a shed yeah you just need a place where the goats and sheep can actually sleep so you just need posts and a roof on top the sides can be uncovered nothing really nothing because they're just going to sleep there during the night you don't want them to get wet or you don't want the sun to burn them sometimes so that's all you need and of course the chickens are also going to need a house but in addition to needing a house the chickens are going to need way more stuff you're going to need feeders you're going to need drinkers you're going to need you know medicines you're going to need heating for brooding so you're going to need a bit more if you're going to be doing the chickens on a commercial level so the goats and sheep are generally the cheapest to start with even buying the goats and sheep it's not very very expensive for us here in uganda you know you can buy a goat you know at maybe eighty thousand ugandan shillings that's probably less than thirty dollars for a goat uh, you can maybe start with three goats also so the goats and sheep are generally the cheapest and then certainly the most expensive is the cattle because for cattle you're going to have to think about a lot you're going to have to think about their shelter sometimes if you do have land lots and lots of land then you don't need to think about the shelter because cattle can sleep outside but you don't want to torture your cattle by making them sleep outside so you'll need a shed for them for when it's very hot or for when it rains a lot the other thing with cattle is that they feed a lot oh my god they feed a lot so you have to consider grass you're going to consider whether you're going to have to be buying this grass whether you're going to be growing it it's quite tiresome to grow the grass because it's not tiresome but you need a lot of space to the grass and then the other thing is that cattle generally are more expensive they're really really pricey compared to chickens or goats and sheep so it's going to be expensive for you to start up the chickens they're in between the two yeah they're in between the two you're going to spend a bit less than the cattle but you want to spend more than you would spend if you're starting out with goats and sheep now when it comes to the ease of management or the level of difficulty of running the project the hardest by all means is the poultry with the poultry you certainly need to have your attention there full time especially if you're doing commercial birds because the risk is very high the birds very very easily get sick in case you mess up if you do mess up on a very small scale you could actually pay with lots because for example if you forget to vaccinate or you're complacent about vaccinating a disease like Newcastle disease you could lose 99% of your flock in two days yeah so the repercussions are way higher because the birds are generally smaller animals compared to goats and sheep and so due to their physiology they easily or quicker succumb to illness in case they get illness chickens need lots and lots of attention you need to be present you need to give them feed you need to give them water you can't leave the feed there full time no you can't leave the water well the water can be left there full time but you need to make sure that the water is flowing actually because sometimes the water can get done if you have an automated system if you don't have an automated system you need to make sure that you do have water always coming in and that would mean changing the water maybe two or three times a day the easiest on the other side is the goats and sheep because they don't need too much attention honestly yeah so the goats and sheep they don't need to feed from morning generally the goats don't love dew on grass no they don't love wet grass in the morning so then you don't want to feed them in the morning because they won't they won't walk the goats and especially goats they are very very picky with water even the sheep very picky they don't want to step in water so if a place is wet they won't feed if the grass has dew they won't feed so you want to wait for the times of the day when the grass is actually dry so at around midday one two you can let them out they go and eat by 6 p.m they're actually full they come back and they're just going to sit down and chew their card until the following day so for the goats and sheep there is not too much attention that needs to be given really you just need the house for them and 
to get them fit. They don't take up lots of medication, yeah? You, you don't treat them a lot, they rarely get sick. Then the cattle are in between the two. They're not as tiresome as the chickens, yeah? For example, you see, we have water here. I'm seated on a water container right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And the cattle have moved out to feed right now. I'm actually in the cattle kraal, if you guys can see, yeah? This is the shed where the cattle sleep. Uh, this is where they stay for the night. And it doesn't need to be even as complicated as this. As long as it's a shed, you don't need to build using brick or concrete no as long as you put a shed you can use posts or anything like that and they stay on the inside there the thing about them why they're not as easy as the gods and sheep is that generally they require a bit more attention in terms of treatment you're going to spend more money on them treating them actually you're going to spend quite an amount of money depending on the breed of cattle you have and where you're keeping it uh if you're in africa you're in uganda like us lots of people around us actually do have farms and the animals can actually get sick so that exposes us in that we are in an area where we can get lots of cattle diseases so you're going to have to you know, have lots of medicines, vaccines to treat the animals just in case they get sick. So they are a bit in between the goats and the sheep and the chickens. And then when it comes to profitability, chickens are easily the most profitable of them all. Because number one, they have the quickest return on your investments because in a really short time, if you're doing broilers, over a five weeks period, six weeks, you already have your money back and you already got profit. If you're doing layers, it will probably take a little bit more than that, maybe five, six months. But once you start making money, the money is coming in quick. And I think it's because of the whole risk thing, you know. The chickens are generally riskier and usually in business, the higher the risk, the higher the margins. So the chickens are easily the most profitable. But the goats could actually have a greater return on investments compared to the chickens. The only problem with them is that that takes a longer time, yeah? So you're going to take a, quite a long time for you to get back the money because the goats are going to have to grow, they're going to produce. For goats, usually the money comes from reproduction. When you have babies, the babies grow up, they have babies, the babies grow up, and you have more and more kids or more and more lambs and sheep. With multiplication, you're going to have more because what you've multiplied is what you're going to sell. And they don't grow for a short time, you know. It will probably be a year or so, or close to a year before any of the females can actually give birth. So it takes quite some time for you to get back the money. But because you put in so little compared to the chickens, when you do make money, the margins are bigger. But <laughs> chickens are certainly the easier or the quicker option. If you're willing to be more patient, goats. The cattle... Uh, Honestly, I haven't been convinced by the cattle. We have quite a number of cattle, like I've already told you, at least 150. But milk is really cheap in Uganda. When you do decide to sell the cattle for beef, the guys who come to buy the cattle, they want to buy them cheaply. They don't appreciate the effort that you put in, the fact that you take a lot of money treating them, and the fact that they take a long time to grow. They're easily the less profitable of the three. So if it's totally something you want to do and it's about profit, if you have to choose between the three, I honestly think cattle should be the least on your list. And then when it comes to enjoyment and the fun of raising the animals, I think the least fun are the chickens, honestly. Well, they can be quite fun if you have just a few at home. But because there's too much work that goes into raising them, I think it has the least fun. Honestly, like I've said, it has the most profit, but it has the least fun raising them. The cattle, I think, would have the most fun because they are big. They're generally graceful animals. And, you know, being around, milking them, feeding them. I think it could be the most fun. Same with the goats and sheep, but again, that's a very difficult question to answer. Oh, that's a very difficult point to talk about because it really depends on someone's interest and someone's point of view. It's really subjective. So about fun, that's quite hard for me to answer. So finally, the ultimate question. You have quit your job or you're thinking of joining agriculture. Which one should you start with? Honestly, if it's purely profit, you've quit your job, you want to make money as soon as possible, or even if you haven't quit your job, you have a side hustle, you want to make money as quick as possible and you're willing to pay the price, poultry, easily. Because you're going to get your money quick, five weeks, six weeks, you're going to have your money back. Six months, if it's layers, you're going to have your money back. So it's easily the decision I would advise you to go with. But that's if you're willing to take the risk. If you're never present and you're probably working, you already have a job somewhere, you're working and you'll never be present, poultry is probably the riskiest of all the three because once they get sick, they can die within a day. It's not like cattle 
which you know could get sick and they could even take days or even weeks when they are ill and you can treat them and they get back and they become fine for chickens they won't take weeks trust me you'll find them dead so if you're not willing to take the risk and but you still want to make money i would advise you to go for the goats because they're easier to look after they're quite easy to start up with they don't need too much supervision they still do need supervision don't take me wrong don't think that you know they'll get sick and you'll just let them and they'll heal mir miraculously no they won't they'll actually get sick and die they need some supervision they need some proper management they need a vet around to make sure that you know they occasionally step in and check them out but I think they are the ones that will give you quite some profit with as little effort as possible. The cattle, um, I honestly still do think doing cattle, at least in Uganda, I don't know how, how it is in other countries, you know, but, but here I think it's really a hobby thing, you know. It's a hobby thing. Or if you have other things running, you have poultry, you have maybe goats and sheep running, and you just want to do something else that could give you some money. It's not like the cattle don't give you money. They actually do give you money, but I think it's not worth the effort <laughs> you put in, you know. The cost of the medication and then the effort of raising the cattle, it's not worth the profit that you get because I feel like it's so little. So I think the cattle are the least of the story, but if it's something that you've just always wanted to do and you just always wanted to have cattle, come on, go ahead, have cattle. You'll enjoy it, trust me. You will enjoy it. So I hope I was able to answer your questions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell. Lots of love, guys. Bye-bye.